E aí, e aí? TB Joshua did not go to heaven. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I repeat, TB Joshua did not go to heaven. Nobody goes to heaven upon death. First Thessalonians chapter 4, 16 to 18. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. They all wait until the trumpet sound and the dead in Christ rise and the living are caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. So TB Joshua has not gone to heaven. In the meantime, they all go to the ground, dust to dust until the resurrection. And that's from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 19 to 20. But what happens to the sons of men also happens to animals. One thing befalls them, as one dies, so dies the other. Surely they all have one breath. Man has no advantage over animals, for all is vanity. Verse 20, all go to one place, all are from the dust, and all return to dust. The biblical reason is simple. In the beginning, God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. That is in Genesis chapter 2. Uh, verse 7, and God formed, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. So at death, dust goes back to dust, and the breath go back, goes back to God who gave it. And man ceases to exist. <clears throat> until the resurrection. So John 5, 28 to 29, let us know. It says, marvel not at this, for the hour is coming <clears throat> in the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice, and all shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life, that's when they resurrect. And they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. So there's judgment before the resurrection. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. And as it, as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 14. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. In 1 Corinthians 5, 10, for we all must appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the thing done in his body, according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. So the truth is when they die, they don't go anywhere. They don't become animals. They don't become gods. They don't become creatures. They don't become reincarnated. They don't become ghosts. They, they don't roam about. They don't send lottery numbers. They can repent. They don't go and wait in purgatory. They don't talk. They don't send dreams. They don't go to hell. They don't go to heaven. They rest in their graves until the trumpet sound and the dead is resurrected. Some to life everlasting 
and others to damnation and destruction depending upon their life on earth, wicked or righteous. So Job, Job 14, 21 says, his sons come to honor when the person dies. His, his sons come to honor and he knew it not. They don't see, they don't talk, they don't think, and they are brought low, but he perceive it not. His sons come to honor and he knoweth it not. And they are brought low, but he perceive it not. He can see, he can smell. And Revelation 14, 13 says, and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. They may rest, they may rest. The dead rest until the resurrection. So here is an important appeal from David to mankind, Psalm 90 verse 12. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. When they die, they don't go anywhere. They wait, they rest in their graves until the resurrection.